I'm taking this tray apart now. It's been sitting for a while, but cyanobacteria on the sides and it's in the tank as well. So I'm just gonna clean this up. But the surprise is inside. This is a Lowell's Fish Lab fry tray I bought from his Etsy site. And if you're looking for a good fry tray, I would say go to his page um, and find the link to his Etsy page. It's not a bad deal either. They're 3D printed. What's in here, you get the plants out of the way. There's some hornwort and a little bit of swasatang that's covered in a ramshorn snails. And two little albino cores. These are the survivors. Uh, that one's chowing down on a frozen bloodworm. Uh, yeah, I really blew it with these. I'll share the whole story. But what I'm gonna do now is get them out of here and put them in with uh, the tank that they were born in. Uh, the 16 gallon uh, rimless tank in the kitchen where there are six albino cories, some of which are their parents. Uh, there's, uh, I think, 17 neon tetras, three clown plecos, three autosynclus, and probably a partridge in a pear tree, too. Anyway, there they are. Let's get a better angle on those little guys there. So here they are. Oh, let's get that glare out of there. There they are. They're both over an inch long. They're probably an inch and a quarter or so, so I think they're mature enough to go with the rest of the gang. Yeah, so this is the tank they started life in. There's their parents. And so I'll let them sit and acclimate to this water a little bit. They should be fine. So Vanellope's been arrested. She's always curious. They've been in here about 10 minutes. They're about ready to release. So let's do that. I'm going to net them out, though. So I'm going to put this, I just rinsed off the bulk of it, and I'm going to put this in this tub. It's just warm water, not too hot, and about half a cup of uh, bleach. Take this side off too here. We did a video on this thing, pretty cool. And we'll just fill it with water, let it submerge. And I'm going to let it set for a while in here. It's bobbing because there's a hole under this that allows water to come up through under like a pool. I'll show you. So that's probably holding the air there. Throw the little sponge in there too. And that should kill, hopefully, the cyan. Cyan? I guess that's it. Cyanobacteria. Blue green algae. It's evil. It's relentless. I'm going to throw this up a little forward, more full. And I'm going to stand it on the side and see if that'll keep it submerged. solution about a quarter cup and oh god I don't know three gallons of water maybe so we'll see 
Well, I soaked it for, I don't know, I guess closer to three hours. Uh, it came out pretty clean. Still a little stained on the inside. Pretty good on the outsides here. I, I used one of those little knuckle brushes um, and I'm not too worried about that on the inside. But that's where all the cyanobacteria was on this outside piece. So the airline coming to it had <coughs> quite a bit on it. So I just popped it off, put it in the sink, sprayed it with that same bleach. I'll let it sit for just a couple minutes and then we'll reassemble this thing. And I think what I'm gonna do is try and siphon these out and put them in the fry tray because they have eaten the last several spawns. So we'll give that a shot, see how that works. 